Hello everybody, welcome to um, CCL Season 50, 50, I think, Season 50, Round of 32 match between Thomas T and his Dark Elves and Ungern and his Vampires, and what a start, Pitch Invasion knocking over three of the five Vampires, um, this is going to be very, 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 very bad for Ungern now, he has a Wizard, and that's his only inducement, um, 14 players, and funny enough, these Mighty Blow Tacklers would have been pretty good, right? Well, the only ones are Mighty Blow. No, two Mighty Blow Tacklers. Pretty good against uh, against Dark Elves, but... Uh, yeah, not so good. Not so good when half of your team is, is stunned. So, yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> but these two are great. Like, they're actually great, right? Bludge, Tackle, Mighty. I do think Pro would have been better on both of these than Mighty Blow. But then, you know, Mighty Blow helped them get the skills, the SPP, didn't it? Um, Pro's pretty good on Vampires when you can pro every Bloodlust and pro every Hypnotic Gaze. Because they're not turnovers. Um, another stun. <laughs> he, he decided that five players stun wasn't enough. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh it was only it was only a plus one fame as well. It was only a plus one fame and then that happened. That is absolutely brutal. So yeah, there's like no LOS, can't stream through. It's gonna be this is gonna be really bad. Really bad for Ungern. Exclamation point apology is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> the Osser LOS. It is. Uh, it's Andy Devo versus Bernie Buffon in the World Cup. Um, if you Google that, you will find my video. I've got it here. I'll, uh, I'll post it in chat for you. So yeah, like it's actually it's so it becomes like an actual helpful video, right? When like I explain how bad Bernie's turn is and how he loses the game. So I do, I do. So I, you know, that that made it like a good a good video rather than just a shitting on Bernie video, which which wasn't like mean and and crap, right? Like it was a bit mean and crap. So I recognise that. I'm not I'm not made of wood. <laughs> So I thought that was, it was good to get something constructive out, out of it. Though, it's a shame that me laughing at the offset LOS is lost forever, because fuck me, that was the funniest... It was just literally the funniest thing ever. Rock hard it, <laughs> like, it was funnier than the swarm mode. When Bernie set up the offset... When Bernie set up an offset LOS, oh my god, I was howling. Like, I was... I literally thought I was going to die. Like, I, I literally thought I could have a heart attack from laughing too much. Like, it was... It, I was in danger. I was in danger of death. That's how funny it was. It really was like that funny. It was unbelievable. It was so good. <laughs> well, that's that's just Kalon's opinion, dearly. That's just his opinion. Yeah. Hope <laughs> Thomas T does some BM. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish kissing, yeah, Swedish kissing was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, he's instant blood lusted. Luckily he's got plenty of stunned guys to bite. <laughs> God. Fail the bloodlust, fail the gaze. Doesn't remove his own player. Outrageous. Weren't we just talking about this? Um, I mean, I guess in general that's the thing. Yeah, I did tell you, but like, uh, I mean, well, I don't know what we're talking about. It. I mean, that was that was the 
that was the video, wasn't it? But I mean, I haven't talked about Bernie's thing for ages. But yeah, various. Ver that's the problem with various offset LOSs, isn't it? That people uh, don't don't play very well against it. Or oh, Ungern. Well, Ungern had half his team fucking uh, stunned. So. Wasn't fucking much he could have done. Yeah, he didn't even hand off to a vampire, did he? He should have definitely handed off to a vampire. I guess his re rationale is he's going to lose the ball anyway, so... You know, he might as well. <laughs> might as well have a thrall dead <laughs> instead of a vampire. Yeah, the, the problem with Ungern was like... I mean, this is a great recovery, honestly. After getting five players stunned, and then this guy stunning himself, that, that this is a fantastic recovery. Unbelievably good. Unlike Bernie Buffon. <laughs> but yeah, the Bernie Buffon thing was great, because at the start of the game... At the start of the game, I was like... Bernie should be the favourite. He's got the better team. He's not terrible at Blood Bowl. But I feel like he's going to make an almighty fuck up and lose because of it. And like throw the win away. And, and like he did it on turn one. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. Hello, Fimir. Oh, God. Ah, uh, sad times. Really easy ball sack if you just imagine this guy is the one hypno gears instead of this one, and then you could just come straight in here for the assist and the blitz. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to hit the ball, is he? He's just going to tackle, tackle upon the vamp. Pile on. Maybe he doesn't want to pile on. No, he does. Because that he could get fouled by a throw, right? And it is ungurned. So the chances of a lethal foul are pretty high. Oh, wow. Thomas T, the Dice Lord. I mean, he was already the Dice Lord with the uh, Pitch Invasion, but actually out bashing somebody. as a first time for everything. <laughs> Purples to turn sign. Out bashing them, going, yeah. I mean, he's got he's got time to make up for it. This is the vamp team with twenty two losses. Yes, <laughs> this is the twenty two losses vamp team. Yep, a great team. They qualified by virtue of nobody else accepting their tickets for vampires. That's they, they went 19-6-2 is the record. Which I guess objectively isn't that terrible. But for a, for a Chalice team and for an Ungern team, it's pretty bad. Like Vamps. Kind of decent, right? Like, normally the Ogres have a better record than that, don't they? Which is uh, pretty funny. Diced. Can't believe he blitzed a wrestler. Very dodgy. Yeah, nothing's going to beat the 0-0 zero, the zero, zero on Kislev, is it? That then won in the playoffs. <laughs> that then, that then actually won their game in the playoffs.
<laughs> this is like somebody decent, right? The run was it? I think it was Xbox, wasn't it? I've got a feeling it was an Xbox. I could be wrong. Definitely saw the game. Fucking amazing. Amazing. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. no. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's a great sound clip in it. Bazaar. Bazaar. What a legend. <laughs> great, wasn't it? <laughs> With the context, it was great as well. That like, Basil <laughs> was shitting on this guy, <laughs> and then, like, in game, not not verbally, and he like. He tried to give some advice or something, like to be being a nice chap. Some something happened anyway, and then the guy was like, "I don't even care about this team. I play on Xbox." <laughs> <laughs> and then that was uh, that was Bezel's response, which was pretty great. <laughs> Bezel. <laughs> I got the ball there. Bazaar. 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 <laughs> Bazaar. <laughs> okay, I should stop at some point here. <laughs> Drunk Bezel streams are pretty good. Hello, Enarian. <laughs> Thanks, Enzo. Yeah, this is probably my proudest moment and best commentary. Bazaar. <laughs> well, he's popped the ball at some point. And uh, he hasn't got the ball. But I mean, you know, it's pretty much... It's pretty bad for Ungern, but he's got he's got options, hasn't he, with gazers and blitzes. It's like this is the thing, right? You know, this is this is exactly the point that uh, somebody was making the other day about a random boy doing well in blitz pit with minute turns. Uh, was it PC? I don't know. Um, with vampires, because like you know, it's ha like you've got so many options, right? What do you do in a minute with all of this? Like, like there's obviously a right answer, isn't there? There has to be a right answer in terms of what's best. But, like, good luck fucking figuring out in two minutes, never mind one minute. But by the same token, it's super hard for people to, like, uh, it's super hard for people to uh, defend against it in a minute as well. So, like, it's, it is too, it is, it is like uh, a double edged sword in a way. And also, the, the main thing would be in Blitzpit would be you're having to use the vampires every game, right? So, you might be playing your fourth game against somebody who's just taken dwarves and steamrolled people every single game and they haven't expended much mental effort whereas you've played you know four games of vampires so you you're absolutely shattered yeah exactly fine it's pretty good like that that was what Cor and I did the first ever blitz pit we both chose like the same team didn't copy him i just thought of the, exactly the same thing as him of like going loads of blood step dark elves and then be like, well, what the fuck is your opponent going to do in a minute? You know, when you've got, when you've got a team of bloodstep dark elves, they're going to be like, well, fuck, like, how can they figure out how can they figure out the count the correct counterplay in a minute? And they'll be like, should I block this guy? Ah, and they just won't know what to do and stuff. Um, so we both had the same idea, and it wasn't that good because it was better to just use a simple. 
simple game, simple team to play, really, I think. Oh, fireball. That is what he thought was the answer. Which, you know, it might have been. Nobody knows. Yeah, exactly. So, so that, that was the main thing about it being hard to use the vamps. Would just be how many. Oh my god, he's just used the blitz over there. Maybe he's given up. I don't know. Maybe he's just given up. Because surely you have to use, like, the blitz over here somehow. Is he just going to potato or is he going to come back? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, but then you could have blitzed him or something, couldn't you? I don't know. Which elves jump up though, so... That plan doesn't work. <laughs> like, there's no plan that works here. Hand off to him and then foul the witch. Yeah, the potato was horrendous. Because, like, you know, maybe if you'd broken AV there, maybe if you'd broken AV on the witch, then you could have done that. But with a the, with the witch there, obviously, just two pluses out and gets you. So, but yeah, maybe he was going to potato. Do you know what? I thought the, the fireball obviously wasn't very lucky, and it was a bit shit, I think, but... Because he, he could have just relied on making lots of twos. But, um... Because he got edge fire, hasn't he? Maybe, maybe it was the right play to use it then, you know? Like, he's in, he was in dire straits, wasn't he? So maybe that was... And it was... It did allow him to make this foul and get rid of the strength four, which is the main sacking threat. So, maybe it was a good wizard. He's doing really well to uh, still be in this game, I think. Really well, Ungern. Really well! Really nice! Where's the hit coming from? Okay, he's not stripping. Oh, because the sidestep, right? The sidestep would make it a one into an uphill. There's a more. There's the more usual uh, Thomas T one dice <laughs> on the ball. <laughs> Instant skull. Chunter with normal dice. <laughs> Man, that's gotta be that's gotta be one of the best analysis ever. Thomas T is chunter with normal dice. <laughs> it's turn five. You might think it's worth trying to foul that uh, that Pomeray because he's got the dirt, he's got the DP right there. He's got some assists. Obviously, you can unlock the defense because he's got uh, he's got gears and everything. So like, it's not like you know everyone else has got to get forward super fast against dark elves because they just wall everything off. But they can't wall off against vampires, can they? Probably should have moved the vampire first here to make the corner the old cage corner. Ah, well, I guess he was thinking about the block, so... Hmm. Oh, I hate this play. This is the other side of Ungern. A double GFI blitz. With only two rerolls. Like, I hate that play. But, it's worked, kind of. 
And now we just do the foul. How old Pedro? Diced. A very, a very un ungern like foul there. Would have expected an instant Kaz. Instant Kaz. Hello, Steve. I mean, he's still getting outbashed, isn't he? He's only done two KOs. Taken a KO on a Kaz and send off. But... Here, I've just had, I've had like no sleep at all. Slight I've had some, but hardly any sleep at all. Hardly any sleep. Did you just uh, blitz this guy and run down there? Probably, eh? Because, yeah, he got these, these can come through here as well. Oh, so he could blitz him. Oh, he's bloodlusted. Oh, he could come in and, like, gaze something. Yeah, gaze him. So now he can dodge off and blitz him with Mighty Blow. Fua! Got to get that mighty blow hit. He's obviously not there for the assist. He's there for the bloodlust fail. So this has been this has been great from Ungern. It's funny, isn't it? He's Ungern is an enigma. Like sometimes, sometimes he plays great like this, and sometimes he's absolutely terrible. <laughs> he must be trolling when he plays terribly because he was he did it on a on a chess stream. He was just trolling clearly. This is pretty great. Wow, he runs in, gets the uphill. And doesn't turn over after two uphills, wow. Imagine rolling that good. I could never. Sidestep led him on a merry dance, and he's still got it on a tackle zone with tackle, so it's not terrible for Ungun, but it's obviously pretty bad. And he is looking at losing for sure. But, you know, might not. Might not lose, you never know. 
You never know, he might not lose. Wow, double one. Double one, typical, typical uh, Thomas T dice rolling there. Glorious. Glorious guys. I've never enjoyed playing vampires. I've played them a little bit because somebody gave me some money to play them. Uh, I did not enjoy it. Vampires are cool. Are they really though? Are they though? He just puts him in there, doesn't he? And punches. And then he punches and he punches. What? See, he does things like this. He just does things like this. It's like, how, how do you possibly put him in there? It's so bad. Isn't it? Like, that's so bad putting him there. Flip me. He's in a lot of trouble, though, with uh, the throw, having the ball on a throw. Ball on a throw instead of a ball on a uh, vampire, isn't it? Yeah, I like the start in the, in the movie. I haven't read any books or whatever the fuck is. It's, it's from. It's got a. I thought you'd dodge to foul the uh, witch because if you don't foul that will witch, it's going to uh, ruin your day. But he hasn't fouled it. He does have two scoring threats, doesn't he? <laughs> Maybe this, because he's got sidestep, so he might be able to chain that in. Obviously the ball carrier, but the ball carrier is probably going to lose the ball. <laughs> Almost certainly going to lose the ball. Does the does the blitz interesting? I might have taken the block first, but obviously he wants to have. I mean that makes sure, doesn't it, by doing it with wrestle and. Uh... Well, not wrestle doesn't matter. Make sure by having frenzy and strip, I guess, makes sure. I don't know. I, I would have. I guess it's it's a better push direction. Maybe. But wouldn't you push it here because you've got edge five there? Interesting to push it there because I would have thought push it here where your edge five is. Interesting. He's got a guy here, so it's not like he needs this guy to do anything, right? Like this guy doesn't need to do anything, because he can just run out and block it. He's just going to go for the 3 plus. He goes for the 3 plus, gets it. Outrageous. Now if only Ungun had saved his uh, bolt. Oh, there's the last reroll gun. It's a double one. Oh my god. Thomas T should definitely save his definitely save his TV and don't bother Don't bother taking rerolls. <laughs> it's just gonna be another one. Right. So this guy can gaze him. And then this guy, or this guy could gear somebody. Yeah, so he can gear, but now who does the pass? The throw. Hmm. I 
he can blitz, but now he's to get the to get the score he's gotta just throw. Throw pick up pass, which is a bit shit. See, I thought, was, I thought it was better him gazing him. And then you've still got the 2 plus out, and then can come through. And then he might have been able to collect it. Don't know if he could have done it. Was he here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That, that to me was better to get. Maybe it isn't, though. Maybe this guy getting close is fine. Oh, wow, he's already just. Just really, just he's just trying to stop the score then. Yeah. Giving up, giving up trying to score. Just trying to defend it. Oh, the Del Dells have only got this guy in range. So he just needs a push. Oh, he's not even—he's not even doing it. He is going for the score. Holy shit! Oh man, I'm. Well, he's got lots of tackle zones. That was interesting, wasn't it? Very interesting. I re I mean, it was a six plus intercept. So it wasn't that bad. Well, that was interesting. I didn't. I didn't even think of that. To be honest, I like. I would have definitely blitzed this guy and not go one nil down. But that's probably wrong, isn't it? Because it was hard to like blitz him and get the ball for the uh, for the touchdown attempt. But it looks like it was the right play, doesn't it? It really looks like it was the right play from Ungoon, because... No, and if he'd failed the pick-up, he'd have looked a bit of an idiot. But then he's still got tackle and sidestep, so... I guess he correctly estimated how difficult it was for Thomas T to get the tutty. The fucking tutty. Man, I raided I raided feedy food last night, you know. Really wanna fucking play Battle Brothers, holy shit. Really wanna play Battle Brothers. Here. <laughs> Man, I could definitely play Minecraft all day, every day. I really could. I should really start at some point here. Technically, you would call that a successful defence, wouldn't you? But, somehow, that feels more like a successful defence of the offence for Ungern. Mind the KO rolls are horrendous. So he's probably still going to lose.
Uh, it's a great song. I play Pokemon Go every day. <laughs> It was an offensive throw. I mean, it was an offensive salvage, right? He, he salvaged that horrific uh, pitch invasion. So, you know, getting out of that in nil nil is a. Uh, getting that out of a nil. Getting out of that at nil nil was pretty successful, honestly. Mikey nearly scored, obviously, as well. Right. Did waste his wizard, yeah. It could be worse. It could be worse. He could have been down to. He's down to nine players, isn't he? Well, down to eight now. He was down to nine players, down a wizard, and didn't score. But he could have been down to nine players, down a wizard, and one nil down. So. <laughs> Very good point, JFR. Very good point. Oh, well, he's made another cast there. Well done, Ungern. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, seven players now. He's going to surf, though. He's going to surf. Very exciting. Gets him. Do you like go here and gaze this one so you can get him off? That might be an idea. Blood ball. That was a bit of a terrible place, Leafy Pommy, yes. I wonder if you forgot about my uh, the frenzy or you know where he was or whatever because that was tbh a bit shit which is a completely reasonable thing to say it's not insulting somebody it's not being toxic <laughs>
it's looking really bad, isn't it? There is a chance, obviously, he's vampires. So, no matter how safe this looks, no matter how safe this looks, there might be a way to get 2D on the ball. And it's gazing him. And then moving in and then 2D in the ball. So there's an instant, nearly instant 2D in the ball here. He just has to, uh, just has to gaze him, doesn't he? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, he's moved him first. Ah, so then if he pals, then he's got the assist that way rather than cancelling. And then he had a thrall in case of bloodlust for him. So that was pretty nice, isn't it? There's some pretty nice things with vampires that, like, you know, if people who've played a lot of vampires will think about more than people who haven't, eh? I do like going for the ball here. I guess he's not going to, though. I guess by putting him in front, you're less fucked if it fails. Like, if you go here and gaze him, and it doesn't work. You've just conceded, haven't you? Whereas this way, you can just still go for the hit. If you're, you know. Maybe maybe just don't go for the hit. Maybe just uh, because that had failed, you've already got some harassment behind. Like, and you've got no players. I guess, on the other hand, you've got no players. So you might as well go in and uh, try and pop it. And, and You know, like... You've got so few players in front, you're probably not going to stop him if you try and play safe. That was uh, something I did wrong, maybe, versus Dede, and I thought, you know, hedge my bets in case of failure state, whereas maybe I should have gone, like, you know, all in on this has to work to win, so I should have just, uh, should have just gone for the win, maybe. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, going forward too early? It does look like it could be safer, but... I guess just getting away from them, right? Their weaknesses, their moves, so just getting away from them is the plan here. This is the thing, isn't it? I think it's just distance, like, you know, just distance from the vamps and then secure it more next time. It's looking, it's looking pretty over now, isn't it? Don't say it's over. <laughs> Don't say it's over, but it's looking pretty over. Because you can 
foul this guy now, can't he? Make a mega cage. Mega bunker. He could even just go 9-9, nine, nine, right? He could just go 9. Full meat cube. He could go full meat cube, but I guess he won't. Run away. Run away so that... Like, that's taken these two vampires out of the game completely. For next turn. It's probably taken them all out. This one's in range just... Could foul him. Now he can't reach. So yeah, good. Good play by Tamast. Not max effort. Ungun's really trying. Oh yeah, he wants to do a pass and then score. Yeah. And and pass with him as well. The problem is the vamps could still do something, right? Especially with the vamp with the edge five around. And got two rerolls, and if you don't score, like if he's one nil up, I'm sure he does do some vanity passes. But uh, it could get you into trouble a little bit here. He might still do it, you know. It might be correct to do a vanity passing, and he might still do it. But I think at one nil up, you definitely do them right. At one nil up, you hundred percent do the vanity passing. But now it's not necessarily score can you have to stall it out no the vamps the vamps can't afford one they've got to uh we've got to stop the score get their kills back for all the time win the toss bang it in gg did you do a handover oh what a loser what a loser imagine doing the handover At least do it to this guy, right? He's got blood step and will level with a touchdown. This guy doesn't even do anything. I liked it a lot more. If you, even if you're going to hand over, do it to him. Then he's got the option between a pass or whatever. But you know, he could have passed, couldn't he? He could have passed, but like I can understand not doing the pass. Cause there's some tackle on these vamps, right? There's two tackles. They can gaze things and get hits in. And then you'd feel like an absolute fucking tool bag if you had to, if you had to re-roll something and you you vanity passed, you'd used a real one of vanity pass, or obviously failed the vanity pass as possible as well. More the re-rolls though, I think, are the concern rather than failing. So I guess, no, 
Oh, it's his last reroll gone because there's no thralls there. UK is one and then dodge all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty shit that he's had to use both tacklers to do this. Bloodlusts. basically done now isn't it I guess the edge 5 can still go through 1, 2, 3 really game 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 GFI, GFI I mean that's terrible because you get surfed so. <laughs> ok this is how you don't get surfed <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Oh god. And now you meet cube. Can you meet cube? Three, six, seven no, you can't meet cube. A tragedy This guy's trapped, isn't he? Oh you can wall, he can wall. You can just simply wall. You could have put the ball here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five. So with six players, you can fully wall and put the ball there. That's what he should have done. Yep. Yeah, you could have meat cubed in the corner. Yep. Ah, the, the wasted SPP is a bit. One, it's just unlucky, right? If you one nil up, then I could. That was huge, that failed score on his defence, because if he's 1-0 up, he would have done all the funny passes, I'm sure. Targeted all of the SPP. You can argue he should have done better than this. You can argue he should have like you know scored on either the edge or the uh, 50 SPP. Man. But, like, I mean, this gets this guy close anyway. It's like it's not terrible, is it? Like at least it's on somebody who wants some SPP. It's not terrible. It's not the absolute fucking worst thing I've ever ever seen in my entire life. Terrible. Well, he's got 1D on the ball, gets the pow. Can get the ball. Yep. Yeah. Does he dodge GFI to there? No. I mean, this is a little bit tricky. This is good, actually, because now he can sidestep the sideline, can't he? He can't stop him sidestepping to the sideline. So, uh, yeah, the, could, the ball could go out. Thomas T, um, you know, I mean, a gr great play by Ungern, I guess. But, yeah, Thomas T definitely should have definitely should have walled, right? He definitely should have walled. If he has the ball here, he could use five players to make them no way to get the ball whatsoever. Well, he luckily gets the the wrestle to guarantee the ball not going out of bounds. And now he's a one in thirty six away from me. Yeah, 
lot of West SPP. He could have, he could have, um, could have got a lot of things. But he'll feel pretty good, I guess, that he had the reroll in the last turn after losing it. Could have even walled on that side, yeah. But it's frenzy, isn't there? So if you if you walled in the open, maybe frenzy could have done something. Because he needed, would need a lot of players there. Like he had he had eight, didn't he? So he could have gone there with a hole. But then, could you have done something with a blitz? Was this no good because of a frenzy? This was easy though, and this probably, like this could have been. This was more obvious, wasn't it, than than what I guess this this thing. I don't know. That's not going over time, is it? There's no way he's getting one turn. I guess he could have got the riot. He could have got the riot, but there's no one turn. So there you go, the 19622. I mean, it's probably the most dangerous 19622 team in existence, isn't it? Really, ever. Um, it was a it was a pretty good vampire team. Just a bit of a terrible record. A great coach, obviously, two-time CCL winner. On go. So there you go. Um, congrats to Thomas T. Should probably wait for that. <laughs> go um congratulations to thomas t commiserations to ungern that really was a uh, a great effort wasn't it great effort from ungern battling the dice and the team disparity um so there you go uh, it was scary in terms of winning right ducky because if you're playing a 19 chaos team you probably uh, favour yourself, fancy yourself to win, especially with Dark Elves. There you go, commiserations on going, good effort, and uh, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.